Mr. Ed here. Today is March 5th, 2019. And today, well, in Louisiana and some places else along uh, in uh, along the Gulf Coast, today is Mardi Gras Day. But there's no catching beads for Mr. Ed today. Today, I'm actually going to be pulling the swarm traps that I've caught last year uh, and bringing them back. Yeah, it's cold. It's probably right now, I don't even think it's 40 degrees yet. And uh, yeah, I'm missing my beard for sure right now, but that's just the way it goes. So today we're going to, I've got uh, Billy from the Woodworks. He's here with us today. And what we're doing is the hives that we're pulling, the, uh, the swarms that we caught last year, we're closing the boxes off and bringing them up to, we're starting a new bee yard at Billy's place. And that, that bee yard will be called the St. Teresa Little Flower Bee Yard. And so we're going to grab our boxes and uh, load them up in the truck. And then we're going to head over to uh, Billy's. We'll, we'll pick four of them up and uh, bring them over there. So I'll show you the special tool that we use to do that. And also, I've got the thermal camera to show you uh, some heat signatures of the, the bees in the box. So by the grace of God, let's pick up some bees and bring them over to the Little Teresa Bee Yard. Let's wrangle. <laughs> All right, so before, before we get to uh, moving these boxes, I want to show you, using the thermal camera, um, how the image of the bees look inside of the box. And this is one way that you can detect bees in your box even uh, without opening the lids. It's just taking your thermal camera and shining it on it. And as you can see that big glow right there, that is the bees in this box. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to close this box up and go ahead and move it into the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape across the opening um, on, on the box right here. Oh, i got to tell you. Billy's holding the camera right now. Thank you, Billy. So I'm going to, uh, here's a bee coming out right now. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'll tape the uh, opening. Look, see a bee right here? Tape the opening so that our bees are going to stay inside the box. And then I'm going to put a little piece of plywood on it as well. And I got to kind of work fast before these bees decide to come out. And at least both of those two went back in. Let's go ahead and close them off. Alright, so all our bees are still inside. Yeah, it's cold out here. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and get my piece of plywood and cover over that. That way I know those there's no way for those bees to escape. So I, it's not it's not a really good fit across here so I gotta put a, a filler block on on top of it first to uh, take up that space but it'll all work out fine. Cause all I'm trying to do is just to block these bees in because we don't want them coming out as we're moving them. That's good enough. I'm going to take the strap off now. And I'm going to go get the carrier. So here's the uh, carrier that, that I'm going to be using to, to lift this hive up as well as um, put it into the truck. And these things are really great. Uh, if you see, there's these two little bars on the tops of them right here. And these bars will slip inside of the handles underneath the box. They'll slide into here. And when they're in there, you have two people and you can lift the whole box up and those bars will hold it. And it makes a really, really great way uh, to move the box. I mean, you could, you could probably, two people can lift a 300 pound box and it's, it's just so easy to do it. I still got to add uh, two more strips to the back to hold these two boxes together. So let me do that first and then we'll lift the box off. We got the, the lift right here and this is Billy. And uh, so Billy, uh, where are these bee boxes going? They're going to my house. We just bought some land right behind my house, five acres, and we're going to name it the St. Teresa Little Flower Jesus Abbey Honey. <laughs> Great. So we're going to grab this box right now. I'm going to rotate it around, drop the uh, handle down onto it, and then Bill will get on the other side. We're going to lift it off and just bring it over to the truck. Hold that, please. Okay. 
And as you can see, I've already put, uh, there's strips that hold the bottom box, the bottom board to the bottom box, and then the longer strip holding the top box to the entire thing. And as we put the lift over it on the down here, we'll just lift it all up and the whole box, the whole hive, the, the bottom board and the two boxes will come up as a unit. So we take our lifter, set it over the box, open it up, drop it down to the bottom, take the little hooks that are inside there, put them inside of our handles, and we just lift it up. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. And it's got a little bit of weight to it. <laughs> All right, maybe it weighs 70 pounds. Oh yeah, we got the bees fired up too. Fired up. Well, maybe it weighs more than 70 pounds. It, it is kind of heavy. So we're going to go ahead and just twist it around. Move it into our truck. We've already got one from the Abbey in here already. And uh, it's all set up. We're going to go ahead and grab this box right now. Oh man, look at this trash, huh? What a disappointment. And, and I should have I should have realized when I put the thermal on this one, I didn't see any heat signature. I thought I did, but this one is sitting in the sun, so it wasn't getting a, a, a good signature. It could have just been radiant heat on, on the camera. But look at this. Look at this. You all know what that is? Ten guesses. That's right. Wax moth. Yeah. So that hive is a goner. Well, I thought it was a dead out, but... Maybe it's not a dead out yet, because look, we, could, we do have bees roaming around in here. I don't know what the, uh, you know, the density of them are. It can't be a lot. And I don't even know if there's a queen in there. But when we get this thing over to Billy's, we'll, we'll open it up in a day or three and, uh, and see if we can find any bees or queen. Well, Andrew, I just want to show you. The post that the trap is on is now moved to the tree over there. And thanks for telling me about, uh, letting me know about the problems that linemen have. Well, folks, that was a workout to get that box right here. You think that even at 40 degrees, these bees wouldn't be flying, but, oh man, they were not happy when I came to uh, close them up. They came out in force, and I managed to... Um, Get them back in, tape it all up, and uh, bring the box up here. Of course, I couldn't have done that without Billy, because that box probably weighs 150 pounds. Um, that's why I'm panting right now. The thing is so heavy. To, the workout we got bringing this thing up to the front. So we got the, uh, the one trap here, and then we got two more with doubles on them, and then that third one, the fourth one in the back. Um, that's the one that probably is going to have to get put into a nuke. But, so we got our four, and I'm going to go ahead and set that box right there, rebate that one, and set it right on the column. Happy to say that job is over. Getting that box off of that column was no easy task, and there's no way I could have done it without Billy being here. It, it, the box probably weighed over 150 pounds. That is some, there's some honey in there, and there's a lot of bees in there. So we got this one up on the post, new, new trap baited and set on the post. Still got one back there. And then this one's still got some bees in it as well. All right, so we're going to head up to the uh, yard right now and set up the boxes on, on the stand. There's our happy homeowners and now new apiarists. <laughs> yeah, so they got their own bee yard. What's the bee yard called? St. Teresa, the little flower of Jesus bee yard. Very good, very good. And so we've got our hive set up. And uh, the only one I'm concerned with this one, and I'll be back this week, and I'm going to go ahead and transfer these into a little five frame nuke because there's still bees in it. I don't know if there's a queen, but... Like I said, we're going to go ahead and put that one in a little nuke. Um, all three of those boxes were over 100 pounds, each one of them. They're very heavy. There are they're stores in all of them. The bees have done very well. And I really think we've picked a nice selection out here. It's in the 
You can see very much wooded area. And there's no chance of development out, out here either. So these bees, they've got lots of, lots of area to fly in and gather food. Well, we did a good job getting the hives over here, setting, the, setting them up on the stands. Everything went well. Uh, no major catastrophes. So I'm, I'm really happy about this. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do well for us. I really do believe that. Now before I close, I want to um, kind of invite you all uh, out there to uh, participate in this uh, swarm challenge that the Dirt Rooster and I have, have got going on. Uh, what, what I'd like to do is, if you catch swarms, I'd love for you to send me the information about it, where you live, uh, where you caught the swarm, or how many swarms you've caught them caught, and keep sending me the information. And we'll run. I'll run a little whiteboard with your names and all that on there, selling the uh, hives that you've caught, as well as mine and the dirt roosters. And the funny thing is, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot better showing that there's a lot of people who catch more swarms than the dirt rooster. So I think it'd be a great, great way to uh, you know show everybody's talents in swarm catching, and a lot of fun as well. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video.